Here's why the Miami Heat's elite depth will give them a deep playoff run. On a night where Kyle Lowry shot two for nine, with the Heat of course already missing Jimmy Buckets and Bam Bam, Tyler Hero, Gabe Vincent, and Caleb Martin combined for a clutch 53, Omar Yurtsevin was a game high plus 19, which fueled South Beach to a 24 point blowout in the ATL. With countless weapons, whether on the wing, in the backcourt, or up front to pick up the slack, we're going to fully delve into the factors making South Beach's ball club a nightmare to stop. Before continuing, only 11.3% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. I left the link in the description for both those platforms. After the game in Atlanta, Miami's 41 games into their season, hitting the midway point, having won eight of their last 10 outings. Despite Butler and Adebayo not having played together since November 27th, the Heat are still plus 11 games over 500, currently sitting third in the Eastern Conference, only two games back of the first place Bulls, while being up 2-0 in the season series over Chi-Town. Basketball fans in Dade County and the Heat organization as a whole are in a solid position based off the fact that they're tied with the Denver Nuggets for the fewest games played on their home floor so far in 21-22, but a lot more games at the FTX Center or as I like to call it, American Airlines, are coming up for Miami, so they have a real chance to move themselves up in the standings. Considering this team has the same 75% winning percentage at home as the Chicago Bulls, these home games are going to be massive for Miami. It's not like they're the Philadelphia 76ers who can't show up in front of their home fans, but Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, and Max Struess are providing the type of shooting the Heat need to complement the rest of the roster. Of course, Kyle Lowry continues to help everyone in the right spot, and if the Heat get healthy, they're even more dangerous than what teams have seen from them up to this point in the season. So let's go in depth on the talent keeping Miami at the top of the conference without their two best players. Playing on a two-way contract between the Sioux Falls Sky Force and the big club in Miami, Caleb Martin has proved to be one of the biggest steals of last year's free agency. In 23 minutes, which is eight more than he ever played under James Borrego in Charlotte, the 26-year-old third-year pro out of Nevada is posting career highs across the board of 9.3 points, 3.8 rebounds, 0.9 steals on 50.5% shooting over 31 outings. Also, next to a lockdown defending wing in P.J. Tucker, along with Jimmy Butler when he's healthy, Caleb's proved that the wing stopping he personally brings to the table can add to Miami's ability to flip an elite switch defensively. Given Martin plays under 24 minutes, he doesn't qualify, but his 106.8 defensive rating would rank him as the third most valuable small forward defender across the NBA. Further signifying Caleb's value in 45% of the outings he's been available for, Martin has scored in double figures, equating to 14 games. And for the legendary president of basketball operations and Pat Riley, along with the GOAT coach Spo, of course, to be getting this kind of production from a player who they picked up right at the end of free agency, that was a damn underrated pickup. Another excellent off-season signing, the Toronto Raptors legend in Kyle Lowry has had his off nights here and there in a bigger role without Adebayo and Butler, but let's give credit to the six-time All-Star for holding down the fort with his leadership, hustle, and team-best playmaking. December saw North Philly's finest average 16 points, eight and a half dimes on 43, 34, and 77 shooting splits. The soon-to-be 36-year-old NBA champ is also leading the NBA in charges drawn, three ahead of any other player. So in terms of his overall energy, the now 16-year veteran is showing no signs of slowing down. Despite racking up a ton of mileage with 1,094 games played between the regular season and playoffs, Lowry continues to be one of the more valuable two-way point guards in the world. Thankfully, Lowry still had a decent amount of shot creating and all-around bucket getting support, even without the team's two best players next to him. Not only Caleb Martin, but sharpshooters and Gabe Vincent and Max Struess have all taken advantage of the injuries as an opportunity to shine. Vincent had a monster closeout performance against the Bulls and then roasted the Sixers in Philly. Max Struess had a stretch where he averaged 23 points per game over six outings, including a 32-point performance. And the aforementioned Caleb Martin forced his way into being an essential part of the rotation with his defense, hops, and scoring. Martin had a 28-point performance and a win over the Bucks. 
those three guys weren't expected to be in the top nine when everyone's healthy, but how can the Heat not play them? That's a good problem to have if you're the Heat, but for now, they're performing extremely well and it's been very fun to watch. Giving Lowry the biggest bit of support has undoubtedly been Boy Wonder and Tyler Hero. The most dangerous aspect about the Heat as of right now is the fact that Hero hasn't even been efficient over the last few weeks, yet the Heat are still 10 and four over their last 14. So the question is, what's going to happen when Hero regains that early season stroke, plus Jimmy and Bam get right? That's a very scary thought to envision if you're a fan of another top contender, but of course the Raging Bulls, the unpredictable Kyrie slash without Kyrie led Nets, and the reigning champion Bucks are first tier caliber teams as well. Speaking of the reigning champs, that's a decent segue into a breakdown of the clamp god PJ Tucker who helped those Bucks get over the hump. PJ's quietly done everything Coach Spo and Heat fans expected after signing him to a two year $14 million deal and done 10 times more in addition to those initial expectations. The first team all defense caliber forward is shockingly knocking down 46.6% of his shots from three point range, career high by far, and now he leads the NBA in that area. As a stretch four, potentially a small ball stretch five when Coach Spo decides to get funky, Tucker's versatility and vocal leadership has made Miami a much more engaged and stable defensive team in 2021-22. Miami used their mid-level exception this year on Tucker, and it's been well worth it. He may not have an eye-popping box score, but his evident value locking up the perimeter and doing all the little things greatly contributes to Miami's success. In terms of up front, Bam Adebayo went down on November 29th with a thumb injury, and shortly after that, Dwayne Dedman injured his knee. Omar Yurtsevin was then thrust into the starting lineup as a rookie, and in the past 12 games, he's recorded 10 plus rebounds in each of them and has five double doubles. For a 23 year old rookie, man's doing all right. It hasn't been perfect. Omer has a lot to work on defensively. Teams are attacking him when he plays drop coverage, but all things considered, Omar's given the Heat what they need. He's rebounded great and provided that lengthy, intimidating interior defense with Miami's lack of size up front. And he's pretty much made that lack of size without Bam a non-issue. While it doesn't seem that Yurt will be in the rotation when both Deadman and Bam are healthy, he's shown to be a great investment and that Miami can trust him if they need him. How can the Heat keep dominating without Jimmy and Bam? Best answer in the comments earns next video shoutout. The top five commenters with the most shoutouts by March 21st receive NBA merchandise of their choosing this spring, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Patchy, who says, I think the Grizzlies can make the finals. They need to make a couple trades to really put them over the top. To me, they seem like the Bulls with Derrick Rose. Hope you have a great one. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.